Alright y'all, this is the Backwoods Boys. I want to bring y'all a video today about uh, early springtime fishing pre-spawning season. Uh, the fish will start spawning maybe late spring or the middle so the bass will start getting more active. Usually the bass most likely is what this video is towards for rigging and everything but bass fishing is a big thing around where I live so uh, this will just be a couple couple rigs up ways you can um, have some good luck with uh bass fishing in early spring so um yeah these are my uh rubber worms i've got here i've got uh uh gary yamamoto baits here i've got uh two yum worms right here uh these are yum brand worms but really i've had luck with this rigged up way um you can rig up almost any worm um it just depends what color i mean you just gotta experiment you know what day what what the water temperature is what what the color of the water is, so it all just depends on where you're fishing at. So uh, I'm sure this will bring y'all great, great luck and stuff on the water. But um, all right, here we go. This is called the uh, wacky, wacky worm rig. It's called wacky, wa wacky setup. So um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this or not, but it 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 provides your worm with a great way to swim and look like it's moving very. It puts a great movement on it. Uh, this is a um, size one hook. It's uh, it's an octopus size. It's octopus, um, octopus hook, and uh, it's almost like a gam gamakatsu hook. Uh, those are great brand hooks. I recommend them highly. Uh, size one works great for this. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to rig this up, and then um, we'll go from there. All right, so I'm back showing y'all how to rig this up. I've got my size one hook octopus octopus style and um yeah so i'm gonna show you how to rig the wacky style up first um all right so i'm gonna start out with my seven inch yum worm uh it's watermelon colored um it's not very important in this kind of video but um all right yeah here we go so i've got my hook you want to find the middle of the worm now you can be very specific about this if you want fold it in half find the middle or you can just guesstimate where the middle is, so that's what I'm going to do for y'all. So, um, I've got about the middle right here. So you want to come in the top of it, make sure you go in the top of it, but if it's an all-round all worm, it's fine, but this one has a specific bottom side. I don't know if you can see it, but the bottom is flat and top is round, and sometimes it doesn't swim as well when the flat side is uh, on the other way. But, um, yeah, so you want to hook it on the through the top side. Alright, so that's what I've got so far. So it's not very hard at all. You got the worm that's coming through here. And uh yeah, so then you got that. And then you wanna take your hook. Take your hook and fold it through the bottom, like fold it around so it's like this, and come back out the top. So you've got it double sided. I don't know if it's very easy to see, but so you so you go in through here, and then you come back out the other side. But you want to put it to where it's not very visible, but it's got great swim action. Works great for pre-spawn season for early spring. Uh, it'll get them bass moving, especially with the action this worm gives off. Um, you just jig it a little bit. Don't really reel it much. It's just a slow-moving bait. Works great that you can cover a bunch of water with it. Um, I highly recommend this. This will probably give you very good luck um, but yeah you can do this with any worm uh, it's not very hard at all to rig up and uh, if you have any more uh, suggestions on a video I should make or you have any more questions about anything I'll be bringing some more fishing tips videos soon so um, yeah let me know and um, I'll make a video so thank y'all like and subscribe